there were a lot of turkey shoots. And I don't know if you're familiar with the turkey shoot, but they were big time fundraising events. So these, these guys would all get the longest shotgun they could find and they would try to put as many pellets as they could into one of these little squares. And you'd win a ham or you'd win bacon and those sorts of things. But that really took place quite a bit. We saw that you know, with the playground, with fire departments, lots of, of those types of fundraisers. Um, every 4th of July, everybody would kind of come to town to watch the fireworks. And I, I think we're kind of doing that more in Stafford now than we did in back then because you'd have to go to come to town mm -hmm. and in fact Stafford was so small when I went off to school I went to Wake Forest to play baseball um, but when I went there I actually said that my address was Fredericksburg Virginia because nobody really knew what Stafford was and now we've become our own unique identity at this point but I think the Stafford area and the Spotsylvania area kind of took their identity from Fredericksburg for a long time It was actually a little bit tougher if you were one of the young, if you were one of the kids from South Stafford, because you'd have to be at school so early, it would be dark, and then you would actually have to leave school and then find a way back for practice. So that was a bit of a challenge. And then by the time you were done, hopefully your homework had gotten done at some point prior to practice, but if not, it was, it was pretty late at night by the time we got done. They have a lot more regional opportunity than, than what we had, and, and national opportunity, in fact, international opportunity. Um, our kids started playing sports, gosh, when they were probably six years old. Um, soccer became the big thing between the time I was a child and the time they were a child, so that was kind of the first sport that they ran into. And they took those talents and, and continued to multiply them, and in fact, both of the kids have played very high-level travel soccer. And in fact, one of them has played in Europe. Uh, they both play field hockey at a very high level now. One is playing in college and one just won a state championship. Um, they, they're both from Mountain View High School. So very proud of them with regard to that. But the opportunities that they have are just magnified. Uh, in fact, this past weekend, my younger daughter was playing at the National Indoor Tournament, uh, where teams literally come from around the country to go play in this event. And they've played in Arizona, and they've played in Florida, and those sorts of things. And when I was a kid, if we went as far as Charlottesville, that was a big deal. So, you know, we were playing kind of around the area without going expansively. And when I got to, to college, I found out that there were quite a few guys that were playing all over the country way back then. You know, they, they would have these traveling teams and kind of kind of move all over the place. Had had much more of a small town feel. And in fact, I don't think there was I don't know. It didn't seem like other localities or communities were interested in trying to play any other localities or communities. It was almost like it was all insulated, you know. Charlottesville would kind of have their own area, we would have our own, Northern Virginia would have their own. And in fact, even South Stafford and North Stafford almost created their own unique identities. And I, I really believe today, if you look at, at, the, at the dispersion of people, the, the Stafford County Courthouse is kind of the dividing line. They're the folks that have kind of come in from the north have, have tended to settle a little north of the courthouse, and a lot of the folks that have been here forever are typically south of the courthouse. Well, number one has changed the roads. The, the roads are very clogged at this point, but they're much wider than they used to be. I grew up on a road that didn't have lines. And when you went to pass somebody, you needed to be very careful whether you'd end up in the ditch or not. And that was just the way it was. It, and when when they paved the road, they would actually lay tar down and then dump gravel on top of it. So you'd drive down the road for a while just catching rocks all the time. Um, but when we saw the influx of folks, we started seeing the improvement of roads, new places to shop, new places to eat. I mean, the mall grew up as 
I was probably a freshman in high school, uh, end of middle school when it, when it was originally built. And you could drive from anywhere in Stafford in about 15 minutes and get to the mall. And I don't know if, you're, if you've tried that lately, but to get anywhere in 15 minutes around Fredericksburg is a lot different. And, and that's opened up quite a few new opportunities, though, as well. I mean, up around North Stafford, there's quite a few more places to eat and shop and, and all of that. <laughs> well, we, we initially had the Victoria Theater downtown, which is now a part of the Fredericksburg Baptist Church. There was another theater down there called the Colonial. And those were the two big theaters in the area for years and years. And then the Greenbrier opened, and then the mall started to open. So that was where the movies kind of became the new, new places to go at that point, as well as uh, the Virginians, which was out on Lafayette Boulevard. They actually had the, the last uh, drive-in drive theater in the area. So that went out. I think they went out of business sometime around 88, sometime around there. Um, but that was, that was when you wanted to go to a movie. One of the big things that you used to do was cruise. And if you listen to any of the, the country music songs these days, a lot of times they talk about this cruise and stuff. That was all that used to be. It, folks would go down to what we call the lower shopping center across the bridge near Hot Shops in Fredericksburg, which is now where there's a, uh, there's a fast mart on the corner. And I forget what they're calling that, that shopping center now, but it's right across from James Monroe. And you would travel that length of road up as far as the McDonald's at the top of the hill, which was at the old park and shop shopping center, which is now Eagle Village. Uh, so that's changed quite a bit as well. But you would see cars just, I mean, there would be hundreds of cars just in the right-hand lane going about five or ten miles an hour, and they were cruising. That was what people did. And then they would hang out at the ends, you know, and kind of talk to each other. So that was a big time on a weekend. <laughs>